Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee, and if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping in. Today I have kind of a grocery haul, but it's a veggie box haul. I get these every week, and you know, we're getting towards the end of the gardening season here in Michigan, but I'm still getting a very full box every week. <laughs> so here is this week's. And I'll show you everything that's in it. First, there's a mystery bag. And this week, ooh, it has beautiful green beans. Oh, these are beautiful. Gorgeous. Yum. Those would be delightful with dinner one night, huh? Um, tomatoes. I have to go in my garden. I have lots of tomatoes. I will be canning tomatoes more and more tomatoes. Um, these are perfect slicing ones, but I like to can these also. I have a video that I just put out on Thursday, how I can my video, my, how I can my tomatoes in their own juice. Oh, here's some more tomatoes, an heirloom, a big Roma Amish paste type one. You can tell fall's coming because I got a butternut squash. I make butternut squash soup that my daughter and I love, and I make it in the crock pot. It's so wonderful, and it just tastes so good, and it smells wonderful. So I don't think I've done a video on that. I should do a video on butternut squash soup in the crock pot. traffic. Usually we get hardly any traffic and I'm trying to do this outside because it's beautiful and we have traffic. Six ears of corn. The corn has been so good. Um, I might be canning some this week. Either I don't know if I'll do Mexi a batch of Mexican corn. I've only done one batch so far and I would like to have more. So I think that's what I'll do is I'll plan on Mexican corn because I've made one batch of that. I did um, cherry tomato corn salsa a week ago. So I think I need to do more Mexican corn. So I'll have at least eight pints for the year. I would like to have 12, but at least eight. Week number three of Brussels sprouts. I used some of my Brussels sprouts from last week to do Spam and Brussels sprouts, cooked, roasted in the oven. Um, it's for Spam Timber, and that video comes out Wednesday. It's part of a collaboration put on by Mary Ellen, the Prepper Potpourri. So there's lots of Spam recipes all month, Monday through Friday. But I did Spam and Brussels sprouts, which I love Brussels sprouts. I have pickled them before, and they were really good. I have some summer squash, and I guess that's a zucchini, a different one. So, some squash. Couple of French breakfast radishes. A beautiful little eggplant. And I just saw a stuffed eggplant recipe earlier that was looked so good. It had rice. Oh, I gotta look that up. I probably won't find it now. I should have saved it. Ooh, nice head of broccoli. That is beautiful. And Missy's not touching it this week. If you watched last week's veggie box video, Missy got into my broccoli. Another big Amish paste tomato. Those I'll probably put for making sauce. I've been freezing those and I'm gonna be making sauce this later fall, winter. A couple of green peppers. Oh, and more of these little snacking peppers. These are so good little mini peppers, like what you buy in the store, you know, and they're, they're just so good. No seed, the seeds are up here. You can just 
bite on this and eat it, you know? A little head of lettuce, leaf lettuce. Another pepper. Oh, jalapeno. I didn't know he was growing jalapenos. I got one. We'll figure, you know, I could, I could make a pico, couldn't I? I could make a pico this week. And I have red onions from our garden. Hmm, that might be good. I might have to do that. It's my granddaughter's birthday party tomorrow. So she's two, will be two next week. So we're having a birthday party. Maybe, maybe I should make a bowl of pico to take to that. Beautiful red potatoes. My husband loves these. And one, two, three, four, five onions, yellow onions. Um, I have quite a few now, but if I'm letting them dry out and cure so they should last for a while. Um, yeah, I'll have to look at for different recipes for preserving them. I was going to chop up peppers and onions and put them on a cookie sheet in my freezer and then bring them out and put them into a freezer bag and I can just scoop out what I need to have one for onions, one for peppers. So maybe I will use my chopper and do that and it should be pretty quick and it will be very convenient just to grab out, you know, a quarter cup of half a cup of onions and a half a cup of peppers for whatever I'm cooking. And last we have Last, we have cucumbers. Two slicing ones and two little pickling ones that are just perfect for snacking. So that is my veggie box that this week. No fruit this week. Um, no melons or anything. Maybe the melons are coming to the end. I wasn't sure I would get Brussels sprouts this week, but I did. And I got this, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I can make a really nice soup with this. I have sweet potatoes and oh, it's so good. It is just a wonderful soup. I have even canned butternut soup base. It's like the broth and the chunks of the vegetables and then you puree it when you go to warm it up and that's very good. But I kind of feel like just a batch in the crock pot to eat and be lunches for the week. So that is this week's veggie box and Put down below any ideas you have for what I should do with these wonderful veggies and beef and broccoli. That would be good, beef and broccoli stir fry. My brain's just going. <laughs> so thank you for watching. And if you like this video, if you push the like button, it really helps. And um, I'll be back next week with another veggie box because they're not stopping yet. So see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.